All right. Death and Taxes. The full version this time instead of just the demo. Lots of endings. The eleven start killing people. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Convenient, it actually has voice acting now. What a... Uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn... Hang on. Spawn number... Two... Two. I am Fate. I am the Keeper of World Order. Another ironic one? Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an Overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <coughs> Clear? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is... <laughs> executed correctly. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Yes, you were. Literally. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Which was exactly how long the demo lasted. So I should be able to run through this in no problem. Or with no problem. And uh, file. One human has to die. Ragtag oil driller sent to outer space to come to an imminent asteroid impact for us. Start of the apocalypse or just climate change? Sparks, yes, no, maybe. Physician, 
mayor. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! Aye, tis me, Terror of the Ways. I may have grown most humble with age. But tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever! Aye, ye are visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium! Browse at your will. Uh, da -da -da. The face of the great old one. Widget. Uh, no. Last time I used. Coin. Well, I have zero. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? So do most who are not in charge. Is that not so? Alas, you will just have to deal with it. The office has no time for wayward deaths. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? To be fair, there was no best option. I felt like you needed an easy one to begin with. In the future, that is going to change. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron-clad law of cosmos. Questions? You are to mark the profiles I send you with the marker of death, choosing who lives and who dies. Afterwards, you fax the files back to me. Any specific daily requirements will be noted in the letter. Not that difficult, yes? A new day awaits. Off you go now. Three hundred bucks. That is not enough to afford anything. Jolly Roger! Again ye honor me, tiny abode, with your visit.
episodes on the YouTube. Alright. Heads you, tails you. Wait, I forgot to put on the again. I think it's heads for you. Grim, how was the second day on the job? You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. No matter. It will pick up. So, did you follow the rules properly? Everything looks in order, as far as I can tell. And it is my job to tell these things. <laughs> Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. I think you do. Stop doubting yourself. You have it in you to be a great Grim Reaper. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. The cat purrs. Three hundred bucks. All right. Well, I still can't afford anything, so whatever. New day, new stock. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. this to make any changes to my appearance. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood washed ashore from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. Nice. Just another job. Business. 
Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right, everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Yay. I have a mirror now. Mirror box. What you got today? What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? What is this? Fake doctor. Shiver me timbers, tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details, but since he wished to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music! Ah, so that's what it is. The radio. There you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Yeah. 
Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Is that a cactus? Ah, Can't afford it. Can't afford it. I don't even think I want it. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Wow, that's new. Grim, take this seriously. We are here to save the humans from themselves and hold the chaos at bay. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Perhaps I... Um, no, never mind. I have not found a way around the tradition. And I have been here a long time. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Yet you have no opportunity to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. Oh. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Are you sure? Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Countless. Myriad. Close enough. Anything else? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. 
Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? Technically, um, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Anything else? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Mm, I am, quite so. Come now, do not worry about it. All is in order. Just a bit over your pay grade. Anything else? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. Like animal. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Right, it has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Good patron, may ship of goods is at your service. What is this? Eye of Anpu. Can't afford that. I can afford this. Face your eyes upon this spiky boy. Ye wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of Cacti. Just to get me phalanges on one of these. Finally unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. Ye never see it move, but boy does it get around. <laughs> hmm. Can't do anything to
Ah, grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? <sighs> I killed the wrong person. I should have killed the guy with the boots. Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary, even if it makes us suffer. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Uh, there was a virus. Certainly not good, no. It is as bad as it has ever been. Hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Buying. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? All right, well, I've seen all of these before, but I can't afford any of them. A <laughs> uh, local man commits suicide after losing family savings. Respected financer found dead. Suicide suspected. Plain boiled potatoes when spicy shop closes after death of owner. MLL poison self. Super tuberculosis death toll rising. Surf star wins gold men medal. I should have killed you. Fracking linked to earthquake. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Professional gambler. Two humans have to die. Step one. Take you out. Uh, drilling. Uh, da, da, da. Oil fracker. Uh, make our own artist. State official. Well, none of them would be helpful against the troubles. Probably best to get rid of the consultant for policy rather than the guy who's actually doing the drilling, though. Position Sinner. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Yes? What about today? Today? Mm. Oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah! Here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, 
surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. We do what we can to provide for our spawns. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. That isn't just an award. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. What? I swear, there must have been something off in the grim brew. Nonetheless, as such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. That would be the point where it goes off the rails and I murder everyone. 400 a day only. Knock, knock. That's exactly the question, ain't it? Uh... We are the exalted Chimera. Envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex nihilo. We are nothing. A despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Be seeing you, Reaver. It's a grim world out there. Okay. Yeah, I already checked all this. Ooh, I could buy this, but I kind of want to save up for the snow globe. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. Hmm. Okay, so I should be checking the mirror daily as well. Alright, what's new? I, I know what you're thinking. I do provide ancient powerful widgets. Blimey, we scoured nigh every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchantmen for it. Cause turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals work on any year. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes, also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations and all the name days. <laughs> I finally procured it from an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Ooh, best newcomer. To the killing of humans. Cheap wooden plastic award. I bet this bad boy can fit so much spaghetti in it. Uh, da, da, da. Three humans spare any humans between 30 and six, 35 and 60. Local gambler dies from food poisoning. Gold infused foie gras as the culprit. Beware for Scarland resolutely climbing the political ladder. The presidential officer might not be far. Scarland promises increase in funding of medical budgets and pharmaceutical research. Local wild is reportedly happy this morning for some reason. Cosmopolis 
Cosmopolis suburbs announced record levels of clean air recovering from decades of coal exploitation. Existentially new wave of artistry strikes local scene. Earthquakes getting more frequent and devastating. Experts blame fracking. Sitting at an all-time high. Three humans dead. Motivational speaker. Uh, he fits that age range. She does not. Ooh, several nude paintings of this sinner. Uh, da -da. You fall within the age rank. Age range. Mint gang member does not fall within the age range. And you do not either. And that is the three that have to die. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. Yes, straight to the point. While I am gone, another will be in charge. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington, of course. Friend, your visits like the sun, regular, and warms the room. Can't afford it. All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Fate! Everyone in the office. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you drift by? You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. Hey, that's accurate. Burning at the stake, drawn and quartered, boiled and stuffed into a can. No, not even. Not worth that much effort. Be seeing you. Hmm. 
a uh, mere moment. Someone happened at the plant department. Need to fill in today. Hope it's okay. Three plants have to die. Da, 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 da. Consultant driven to mental breakdown after not being able to save local DVD slash CD rental shop. Local thug stabbed. Thumbs at rest through assassination of crime boss. Submissions open. Where are the bees gone? Uh. Jobless. <laughs> Enjoying the small things in life like not being eaten by a snail or not having a seagull scream at it for a moment. Alright, Tumbleweed can die. Companion. Houseplant of a photography student. You can live. Three have to die. Parent. Riverweed. Uh, you can die. Which of you deserves to die more? Good living conditions with plenty of food available every day, or yelled at constantly by seagulls that you hate. like what we see. It's suspicious. I'm very suspicious. Yeah, yeah, we know the heartbeat. Even if it no longer beats. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper. Not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh! They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. Ah, perhaps he requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. What is this? Ah, I can't afford. Can't afford. Can't afford. But I want that snow globe. Plant department got their act together. Two humans have to die. Bees on verge of extinction yet again. Many people in hospital with poisoning from cow milk. Huh. Da -da -da. Judge, power and influence, uh, influencer account where in it looks like their cat is doing book reviews. Judge for 21, for 20 years because she likes having power. Neither of them had anything to do with me. 
Jesus. Aye, this port offers the best trades in the universe. Grim Cape. Tenebrous Curiosity. Alright, I'm curious about this one. Well, blow me down, lad. Tis the arcane fippledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found its scale in a tower, used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things, like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. You. Come on, Grim. That's disgusting. Don't you think this order. whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? That's kind of the point. An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. Yes, dehumaning. We know it. But do they? Do they know what they're doing? Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. Well, there's a cat. Throw not the flesh of the common people into the gears of agony. Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. Good seeing you. Oh, well, that seems to be getting an effect. Ah, the eyes have started to uh, blur a little bit. Abnormal rains felt in nearby county as meteorologists warn of potential oncoming storms. Sending levels keep increasing. We're heading towards a catastrophe, officials warn. Student mauled by mountain lion during a hike at nearby Mesa. Wallpapers are the fashion of the now. Get wallpapers now or be lame. Military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first several feet in the CEO. Hmm. Hands have been kept mighty busy today. What the darn have you been up to over at the office? From what I can see in the data, it looks like a proper mess. Seven humans have to die. At least one human with a religious background have to die. Spare any retired people if possible. Well, I can let one person live. No time to waste. Get the to it. A 
What's this? Postal clerk. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Doom all of the profile. Hmm. Retired. No escape from Kaipo. Dice. Get you out of the way. Sex member. You're religious and seven people have to die, which means you're double doomed. Lifestyle Guru Cultist, so you die. Supermarket Cashier. Cosmology is like a religion. CEO, latest heir of family, monitor C, sundowner security services. Ex-child actor. Path of glory commune. Postal clerk dies. Now, do I listen to the red, or do I get paid? I'll go for the red. One day. Hello? Hello? Oh, bother. Lady Poddington, has Grimm arrived yet? Right, very good. Listen, you are not supposed to mark every profile to death, yes? I thought I made the point rather clear. All our choices have serious consequences. Why would you do this? No, you cannot. I am on a... Sir, leave me. I have urgent matters to attend to. I cannot just give you the phone. Where was I? Ah yes, Grim, you have acted with severe carelessness. The equilibrium of the world is not a trifling matter. I know it is not easy making these decisions, but that is what I am for. Trust me, and I will guide you. Understood? I hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Good night, Grim. I got the fidget spinner. Now I think I can have free. Ahoy, matey! What can old Mortimer offer you today? No, you don't. I could get that if I have one hundred dollars. Oh well. Hmm. I'm in the mirror. Ex-child actor found dead at Path of Glory, drug overdose suggested, suspected, mass suicide, entire commune, dead by what looks like overdose, mysterious elder, kettle elder goes missing, sundowner takes a massive hit, and a CEO shot during drone misfire, Grouchy a senior dies, still manages to make life worse with, for everyone. Very irate. 
three humans have to die. Spare any humans with law background. Unforeseen logic guides our hand, but logic nonetheless. Climate scientist, pharmacist, cleric, law background. Okay. Prison warden, burglar. I guess that might count as law. Same with border guard. Uh, let's see, climate scientist, pharmacist, cleric, and burglar. <laughs> pharmacist. Sell their medicine drain. Uh, global markets, climate, cleric, pastries, and crime novels. Saving their family using fancy deductive abilities. So they know this exact opportunity will soon present itself. Save one, save at least two. So, two of you have to die. afford these, but I don't want to. I'm saving up for the snow globe, but I keep buying shiny objects. Nothing in the mirror. What you got? Avastye! Pursue the finest booty you've ever seen. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, the gerbil. Lord blimey, how did this wee monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Found the tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. A lifeless, adorable thing. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when he stroke it. goes in the drawer. Three humans to die. Spare any humans with an artistic background. Fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology. It is a day. Oh, 13th. Traffic collision claims life of scientists. Two others survive. Activists protest against suggesting to introduce surveillance grids. Cleric solves murder, catches serial killer on hot air balloon. Corruption scandal at border, dozens of people file lawsuit against the guard. 
burglar stumbles on a frightening complex array of traps during break-in dies from serious head trauma. Uh, I have no files. Hello? Hello? Lady Poddington. Is Grim there? Oh, goodness. Grim, I heard that... I understand the job can be stressful, that these decisions do not come lightly, but you cannot let everybody live. Such actions will have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. That is what I am for. Trust me, it will be for the benefit of everyone. Understood? What? Could you repeat that? All I hear is static. No matter, you know what the job entails, Grim. I implore you to take it seriously. The world needs to stay in equilibrium. I do hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Think before you act. That is all. I didn't get paid. Psst. See? What did I tell you? The others conspiring behind your back. You saw the result. They waited for you to let the guard down, whispering, Look, it's the pathetic runt. They'll make you fail and get you fired. Or are you deliberately trying to fail? That's devious. Keep them guessing and watch your back. Reaper. All right, well, what you got? Back from our booty, are ye? <laughs> Still nothing I can afford. Five simple exercises. Tax evasion concerns local government. Uh, da, da, da. Performance review. Five humans have to die. Transport has to die. Left side of the profile bonus bundle. Let l this one live. Gifted Hunter. Poacher. Tax Collector. Astrophysicist. Pilot. Personal Trainer. Corrupt CEO. Two dead. Security guard. Hmm. If you die, then maybe someone who doesn't keep quiet will get hired. Personal trainer. Uh, lifting form. Art forger. Whoop, dang it. Oh well. Everyone else can live.
have returned. Did you miss me? I certainly missed your droll demeanor. Straight to work then. So, okay, yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm, where did I place those papers, please? Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right, seems to be correct or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Ah, Grim. How should I put it? In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. There is little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. Of course, great care goes into calculating the equilibrium. But is that all that matters? One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Can I afford anything? No, I still can't afford this thing. I only need to save up for like one more day. Nothing in the mirror. Yes! You did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon, we'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. Uh... It blinds, O oh, Sovereign! Forty thousand corpses for the bridge of advancement! Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. Okay. Shiver me timbers! Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium! What was that? Uh, da, 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 clothing... Oh, two more days. Dang it. Window shopping for planet. Window shopping for planet. Could this planet be our future home? Infamous CEO sails their enormous yacht directly into beach. Found impaled on a tree. Poacher mauled to death by pound. A pack of mountain cats in seeming act of revenge. Physical fitness of children improving every year. Full hardly pilot attempts to complicate an aerial stunt. Crashes an aircraft straight into ground. Anomalies at crush construction site. Security guard vanishes in the night. Painter dead from breathing in too many toxic fumes released by their paints. Microscale steam mechanics could unlock access to brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. Cosmopolis hosting the baseball basketball season final match. Rumors of match fixing in boxing. Six humans have to die. Uh, three humans with scientific backgrounds have to die. Two humans aged 30 or younger have to die. Alright, you're not either of those categories. You're not either of those categories. Basketball player. Well, you're 30 or younger. Uh, you're 30 or younger. You're not 
30 or younger, getaway driver, pugilist, and okay, you're the only one who fits the criteria. Alright, scientific background have to die. Uh, astronomer probably counts as scientific. So that's one down. Biochemist, pugilist, and field researcher, geology. Email scanner. Okay, so you have to die, and you have to die. Alright, so two more have to die. Smuggler, email scammer, getaway driver, and pugilist. Working class hero, respectable career, 25 wins, zero loss. You can live. Smuggle, smuggle, smuggle. Uh, offering people which is beyond their wildest dream. They succeed from time to time. Da -da -da. Forced into working as a driver. There we go. Perfect. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? The world certainly has that tendency. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay! Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. This reminds me, have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. Ah, the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region, time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days Weeks, months may pass, at different intervals. Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced, within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. That is why causal links are difficult to establish, and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What do you mean? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world, and the people therein, create the situation themselves without our interference. Our data mongers assemble, collate, and examine wide swathes of data, and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. Hmm in a sense. But this is certainly not a one-to-one -one sequence of causal links. You should consider time works a bit differently in here. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. The store and places. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. I am instead particular to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent and imperialistic. It's about conquering territory. There's nothing less imperialistic. Mm -hmm. 
anything else? Or more if you let me stick. Until tomorrow, Grim. And tomorrow I should be able to afford the snow globe. Ahoy! A pleasure to see ye again. in the cursed mirror. Uh, brand new methods. Two humans, opposite end of the profile, bundle must die. So there again, lizard men. Odd scientist blows up along the line of their work. Shed while experimenting with micro scale steam mechanics. Biochemist dies in fire. Chicken flu finding a vaccine. Laughing man stealing raw chicken. Syndicate of mobsters taken down yesterday during a late night raid. Ringleader of trafficking ring mauled to death by tiger. Athlete dead in bus and car collision. Unknown enzyme composite in the body of dead athlete. Active samples could have led to new medical territories. Unbeatable Scanian finally toppled. They decide to retire and open a boxing school. Researcher. You are to die and you are to live. You are to live and you are to die. This is a very, uh, cut and dry game. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Couldn't be worse than me. Hmm. Cannot be worse than what? What do you have in mind? Game writing? Come now. I hardly think that counts as a real art form. I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. Well, scuttle me boat, why don't ye? Clear as a crisp spring morn, I remember the day in the cave at the bottom of an ocean, but was guarded by a horrendous beast. So, had no choice but to underwater arm wrestle with a kraken. All eight tentacles. At once. Afterwards, I met a hag with crow feet wrinkles on her face and wrinkled crow faces on her feet. She knew me well, that we had not met before. Gifted me this ominous globe. Maybe it was a warning of a kind. Maybe she just fancied me. <laughs> I did die about a week later. Huh. Might be slightly cursed then. Ye drive a hard bargain, matey, but Mortimer does love a good scuffle. Ooh, what is this? Infernal Illuminator. Uh, that costs quite a bit. So 
So for New Game Plus, it shows you what your choices actually do. Cool. Ah, I see that everything is on fire. All humans in the body row must die. Mercenary. Uh, guitarist. Taxi driver. A uh, young researcher dead from yet to be identified pathogen. More power to the ultra corporations. Anomalies continue at construction site. Another investigator in vanishes in the night. It's an interview. Intrepid crew exploring the depths of the ocean. be working for the local church. Private detective. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Yes, but can we truly foretell what it would mean? To put us right out of business and you out of existence? Would you really trade yourself for them? What a time it would be for us all. A peaceful time. Oh. Never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Such is the nature of loyalty. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you, it seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. Alright. I have money again, so what do you have? Batten down the hatches. Tis a storm of sails. Six coins for one coin, so it's a terrible deal. Hello, hey there. What you up to, killer? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. Reaper. Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. What does it say? Guitar found dead. Unexpected strokes. Mercenary crashes helicopter. Three dead. Uh, beloved cab driver. Serial killer caught by detective. 
Private Eye, Accidentally Cancers, and Legal Arms Dale. Deal. Uh, da -da. Alter every other profile has to die. Hmm. Welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Certainly, once it is finished. You will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Aquaculturist finds a new approach to seaweed farming. Crime boss gunned down on the street. Escalates turf war. Area veterinarian saves the day after pacifying horde of hangry mice. CEO planning to open a museum. Last three humans coming from this fax have to die. I didn't see which order they came in. Uh, systemic bias in our balancing methodology. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, da -da, content creator. Uh, Multi-level marketing scheme failed. White collar criminal. Archaeologist, uh, digging up artifacts, stunt person, fraud CEO, Samier, uh, bull earth conspiracy theorist, probably shouldn't have killed the mayor since they uh, came into power. All right, you... Hmm. There's only three, right? All right, so kill you. <laughs> printer first.
Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right. The daily... Ugh, always in positions when I have important research to perform. Ugh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. Any other questions? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. Grim, that is just stupid. Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful, even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Unlikely. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization, as humans feel the ever-present breath of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity, carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. At least until all matter ceases to be. Mm, any day now? Any other questions? Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. Uh, Cor blimey! Now. You're looting! All me wares. The base, the marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Hogward. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> All right. Next day. Nothing in the mirror. Unless I assume that it's just when the cloud shows up that something is in the mirror. My instructions for the day. An eldritch waft of air passed through my office earlier. Certainly a sign of disorder. You could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so I leave it to you. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Historians warn artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war-torn Faradin. Have to do something about the looting that's re-escalating the conflict. Chicken flu still spreading. Fraud dies of heart attack. Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. Ah, dang it. Studies showed drinking a glass of red wine a day not actually particularly healthy. Aliens real. MeTube star claims before disappearing. Art of dying provides little in the way of sense, plot, and characters, but the action, coordination, and stunt work are excellent. Stunt performer urges hot people towards healthier lifestyle. Will police finally do something about this highway menace? Oh. Can I turn that off? Yeah. Okay. Speed demon. Highway menace. Right. Hmm. 
Headless Rider Unmasked. Turned out sightings of the legend were not true. Instead, she, he tried to pose as a writer to prank the journalists. Hunting Wild Game. Convinced there's a monster living in a nearby swamp. Uh, simple, elegant. Tired. Wants to die. Okay. Uh, none of these people seem suspicious. A lot of people on fire. Ha <laughs> ha, grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. It is a weekend, after all, and the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? Hello, Grim, are you there? Uh, curse this useless apparatus. It never works when I need it. You may be wondering about who is in charge. I did consider leaving dear Lady Pordington again, but my hiatus is only momentary. I am sure you can manage these few days. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. You're such a scoundrel! There should be a bounty on your head! Why? I'll just buy that. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all! About half the civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then my crew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of Satellinor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. Alright, since I've got no supervision, I guess I'll just use the coin on everything. to do something. Uh, racer, neck and neck. Uh, do, do, do. End of the road, be at, be at peace. Swamp reportedly inhabited by green monster. Five humans have to die. Four humans must be spared. This is of mo utmost... One human must be spared. To be pe careful to let the right person live. Vicar. Uh, creepy kidnapper. Lumberjack. Project manager. Wetland scientist. Student. What are morals? Clearly, the wetland scientist is the one who needs to live. last smell the fresh scent of blossoming lilacs, heard the soft cooing of a puffy bird with a bright plume, 
felt the soft hum of the earth, yearning for attention. Uh... We can't tell if you're lacking in empathy, or overflowing from it. Oh, proud reaper, sometimes you cut too deep. I dreamt the bags of sickly meat and brittle bone ceased to exist, collapsed into a pile of bone meal and bubbling innards juice. From the mulch rose a new, better human being, much more capable of living, unburdened by weak spindly ligaments and fragile respiratory systems. Obviously, it's an image that raises more questions than it solves. You imagine a golden trim to a rotten shack. We know more things under the stars than a reaper yet to open their eyes. Be seeing you. fun I am having. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Yes, you expect your daily summary, but I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, off you go. Two humans have to die. Doom the one named Rob. None of them are named Ron. Logging company owner dies of heart and heart failure. Uh, unknown mascot stuck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Annoying know-it-all dies from becoming too smart and big for their skull. Romance blossoms as hunter almost shoots local scientist in frog costume falls in love instead. Vicar suddenly passes of heart failure in religious convention. Help delayed his heart attack construed as a punchline. Yo ho ho! What can old Mortimer provide you with today? Only two options. Let's see. I might come back for that plane to Dr. Alfred. Grim. Because you do not need one, and because I say so. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Oh, uh, whatever. You? No, Grim. You have not. Why am I... livid? Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to... remind me that taking sudden leave is detrimental to... our aspiration because they thought to admonish me for taking a couple of days to perform important research. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes, now, how was it? Nothing in life is more certain than... No, no, it is death and taxes. What else would it be? Either way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do 
my job. Ah, uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. Mighty, it is an utmost pleasure to see you again. I don't know what that is. Yours is a beast. Ye know why I was the scourge of the seas? Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wernum gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> are you sure they're not cursed? Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. Uh. On all the things you see scrolling by before your eyes. Perhaps the screen is too bright, the sound's too loud. No, no, it's you who died and found your way here. To the office, where you belong. Medic saves comrades. Thinker claims we live in the best possible society of all time. Identity thief disappears. Go with the flow. Ron, kill him. Ah, uh, bodyguard. President. Literary critic. Hairdresser. That's entertaining. Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. A disarray of thoughts. Listen, is death really such a bad thing? It would be better for everyone. In fact, do these humans even truly exist? Their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome. It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Stars explode, and galaxies form, or get torn apart. There are departments even for these events. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. 
They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences, millions upon billions of them, everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar. Copying each other, living through similar events with similar basic reactions, while the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot and will not even experience or perceive, ever. Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grimm? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it... No, no, it is, does it make a sound? That is what they ask. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them. To imagine their presence to be paramount. The tree does not only sound, it has been sounding a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It has lived a life. None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. Yes, you get to skip your performance review. Good night, Grim. Dang it. Four humans have to die. Atmosphere seems to have cracked open figuratively. Beloved video game designer fatally poisoned. No tentacles present. Economy gradually improving. Click here. Re-election campaign video. Company gets stolen money back. Uh, local bodyguard enters competition. Thesis on Zetergist. Rector found dead. Guess they're a die rector now. <laughs> Severe droughts seen as existential threats. Industrial laborer publishes poems. Electrician. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's that pen? Ah, there it is. How many needed did I? Four. And I've only got one alive. Got it. Cow calf operator. Severe drops. Hmm. You can die. Uh, you don't have to buy the farm. I think everything went down. beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass, every ray of light. It is a captivating day, is it not, Grim? I know so, Grim. Never before have I experienced such certainty. Ah, uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. Who cares, Grim? 
They are a bore. What you always do, Grim. It is your job to take care of the world. I trust you to make the correct choices. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time. If I ever return to the seas, I'd have ye on me crew any time. Huh. Didn't know I still had this beaked eyesore. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots, where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Just look at it! A weird long curve on a nose, and those stupid goggles. Ridiculous! Had to have it. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Lest these smell nice, for they soiled their trousers from beer. Then the mask came in real handy. How many times have we met? I lost all count. Oh, my. Dear me, tis a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? Yep. A wild night, certainly. There we was, celebrating the passing of mi amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mask stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. Spare the nurse. Six humans have to die. Oceans are boiling. Hmm. That seemed to have done quite a down on everything. to the world. Cut on fire. Stuck in a hole and insistent on using the scythe as a shovel. Scythe. Do you know the story of the wyvern and the prince consort? Of course you do. A young, quick-witted prince consort was once kidnapped by a wyvern. Using their gift of charm, they tried to alter the ways of the wyvern in order to save their land. 
Soon, the Beast and the Prince found resonating ideas and ambitions. Then, the Wyvern, tired of the desolation, ate the Prince and flew away. Yes. Yes. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few, as long as you learn the lesson. We are thankful of our time together, even as it's quickly running out. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Should my prose be more experimental? Or should I stick to traditional narrative techniques? Grand, yes. The exploratory aspect can lead me across the boundary. You are still here, Grim. I guess you want to talk about work instead? Never. Oh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. My, so much chaos. Pain and suffering are off the charts. Everything is on fire, while ice invades from the polar zones. How did that even happen? Endless mountains of trash, undrinkable water, unbreathable air, toxic pollution, the ultimate ecological masterpiece. And in the center of it, Kathleen Holmes. I never knew a human could be this destructive. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. Hmm? Are you sure you followed them properly? To the letter? Ah, uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with, while you still live. Off to work, Grim. Certainly you have no time to waste now. Okay, so Kathleen Holmes is the one who obliterates the world. Ever wonder if there's a way to do things differently? Ooh, smokes. Smokes are deadly, you know. A curse fouler than any I ever met. Not to me wildest dreams could I rob so many lives. Tis gazing down the length of an infinite tobacco stick, inching ever closer to the end. An ancient shaman gifted me this pack after I rescued their child from the rabid coyotes. Guess they weren't pleased with me good deed. Assume this visage and forever be reminded of the mortality of all. Sounds like a plan. Gerald of Rivia. Rivia? Rivia. Well, at least they're not at war. Absurd scene as notorious mafia family seems seemingly massacred itself with infighting, deranged scientists crushed by stolen nuclear warhead, authorities baffled, world leaders warn of radicalization as disaster looms over human habitats, falling supply chain failing supply chains cause starvation deaths all over the country, elderly people hit the hardest. Two humans have to die, and there are three total. An entire continent has turned to a desert. Not many humans left, but now is their final hour. Huh, three days left. Local fast food established, rated by looters. 
City budget experiences unexpected surplus. Death of viticulturist drastically lowers the overall quality of wines from Sun County. Politician. Eliminate all taxes. You die. Retired. Houston hosted a series of educational television shows. You die. Uh, CEO. You get to live. Hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there in the wilds? Fate unconstrained, with nothing to stop it. Seems a terrible power, yes? Endless rows of industrial smokestacks pumping out poison, chemical waste pooling into the groundwater, a total collapse of the biosphere. My, my, it truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. Mm-hmm, the worst. Well, I do hope you will manage. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. Uh, what you got for me today? Time's running out, friend. Dang it. Can't quite afford it. Uh, the few remaining humans have to die. Most of themselves, the society has finally collapsed. Whatever normalcy in humanity was left is now swiftly fading. CEO steps down. Uh, city mourns loss as stomach cancer claims TV personality and Russ Grow's insanely th thorough science report shows mankind utterly doomed. Mark this profile for death. You remaining humans have to die. All right. Well, you've done well, Grand Reaper. Yeah, wasn't believable at all. We lack the imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent. So, what comes next? Too late. Unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation. Hop over to a different reality and do better. That'd really be something. If such a button existed, it'd obviously be called, like, New World Plus. Go on, Oddball. Nothing else to wait for. <laughs> Me neither. Sometimes, that's the best we can do. We've reached the end. In general, I mean. Not with us. We will never leave you. As long as there is a you, there will be us. Until the next round. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. An immaculate execution. The work of an artist. The planet is virtually uninhabitable. The few remnants choking on noxious air. It is the last gasp of humanity. Slowly going out. It is a bit of a somber moment now that I think about it. I have been with them for so long. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. Soon enough. Patience, my friend. 
Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. Ah, oh, I didn't get any money, what? How am I supposed to buy this if you don't give me cash? Aye, the end is nigh. It's been quite a run, hasn't it? Nope, I can't. <sighs> Fate must die. Everything rests on this moment. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. The coin has decreed. Bit lonely at the top, ain't it? Feels cold and empty. This is what you were aiming for. I hope you're pleased. So cool, so indifferent. Who doesn't like it when serious decisions are made carelessly? You're the king, the king of the castle. All hail the king. What use do you think this had? The world is still absolutely ruined. Ain't a thing you can change now. Inherit the empty husk, soon to be void of life. King of nothing. Revel in your petty act of revenge. <laughs> Ain't nothing to turn around, bub. Ah, the last human stragglers left. Slowly dying in agony. Behold your throne, true death. The ultimate usurper. Society is falling. The world exploited. Man, this is slow. Humanity wiped out. As you stand victorious over the white wasteland. Fellow traveler, never did I imagine this would be your path. I genuinely expected more. Even pirates have a code of conduct. This, a disappointment of savage treachery. And for what? The world's completely in shambles, with nothing to change it now. But I can offer another cycle. Set ye upon a new timeline, a parallel world, so to speak. Your loot will remain, of course, but perhaps little else. Still, consider it a chance to be better, and not go for the low-hanging fruit. Uh, the end for now.
too big for the screen. Hmm. Usurper, chaos, low prosperity, low ecology. Ninety percent got chaos in I have no idea what that is. Well, considering it's chaos on this end, I'm guessing this is balance and this is a uh, good end. So, low ecology, low prosperity, high ecology, high prosperity. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. And then low whatever the other ones are. And then high whatever the other ones are. And then the other three endings. Okay. Blood and guts. Link will be in the description. 